and we are back <laughs> in in bubble balls um why are we in these and what is bubble soccer well we have ej and aaron here to tell us but first we're going to show you a video of bubble soccer taking place to so take a look With every generation comes a new revolution. The men and women who comprise it, all of them fearless and driven, all of them part of one story. A story written by they who found in one sport, in one organization, a new demanding measure of self-expression and resolve. There's glory in this hard knock life through each new season of sweat and strife. Glory's new name makes many a talker because Glory's new name is Bubble Soccer. Wow, bubble soccer. <laughs> Molly's in the bubble. She's yes. strapped in. I'm demonstrating what it looks like to be strapped in. However, this is the junior ball. You're yes, in the adult I'm ball. I'm in the adult one. I kind of like the junior ball, though. Well, yeah, because yeah. you're so tiny. Like a turtle. You can just, <laughs> I'm sorry, you're in my bubble. <laughs> <laughs> now, EJ Aaron, what is bubble soccer? Uh, bubble soccer is a new sport that just came to the U.S. about a year and a half ago and it's kind of like a combination of soccer and football and it's a lot of fun because I don't know about you guys but I love being able to just lay him out every once in a while. <laughs> I like yeah. to lay him out to you. Look yeah. out. Yeah. very often. Yeah. <laughs> That's now, the best part about it is you, know, you can get out of a lot of aggression but have fun and be safe doing it. And you get to, you basically have teams just like you would soccer. So there's two teams playing um, and, and you're, just like we saw on the video, you are actually playing soccer. You're trying to get the, mm -hmm. the ball across the field into the other team's goal. Right, just like you would in a soccer game. Most people, they kind of forget about the soccer ball and they start hitting each other, but it is about soccer and you play soccer and you kind of defend yourself without a goalie. You just use these to hit each other. Well, do you find you have to use different techniques? I mean, I think Carly and I both watched soccer for years. I've mm -hmm. never played. I'm generally not athletic. This is right <laughs> down my alley because I, I, I see this as a less likely way of getting hurt. But mm -hmm. at the same time, I bet you've got to have some different moves and skills to be able to play in this. Yeah, you definitely need a little bit of conditioning to be able to play for a long, for a very yeah, long so time. So but uh, there isn't a whole lot of skill to it. I mean, you're in a <laughs> you're in a bubble. It's, you know, this is more of an adult rec sport. Um, okay. We're starting up our summer league for. Um, for bubble soccer, we're going to have a minimum of eight teams. It's going to start on June 15th, and it's open to anybody and everybody that wants to join. So you're trying to get the word out. If you want to give this a shot, come give you guys a call. Do you have? Do you provide the ball, the bubble balls? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we provide all the equipment. We run the league. We're the league administrators uh, for Pensacola. And and how much is it to play? Um, for our private, we we run out also for private events. So private events, their packages start at two hundred fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. Um, on our open days, we usually do uh, open days where anybody can come out and try it and then we do a discounted rate and it's $10 usually per person or $25, $30 for the entire day in limited games as much as you can handle. Now what's the best thing about bubble soccer? Why should people play bubble soccer as opposed to playing regular soccer? Well, bubble soccer is a lot of fun. Um, everybody's played kickball, everybody's played cornhole, everybody's played softball. So they're all, Everybody knows what it is. This is something brand new, and it's also it's a lot of safe. A lot of people have this fear about them, um, especially adults like me and you guys. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm not very athletic. I can't do no. a flip. No. Um, <laughs> no. I've seen him try it though. Really. <laughs> <laughs> <Not again. laughs> right, he and he's really like, can't. I need to find a protective device. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, and you know, I'm, a lot of us adults are afraid of getting hurt um, when we're playing sports or whatever, and so you don't really play to your fullest potential of what you want to be able to do. These things, they really take away that fear because at the, you, know, you get into it and you're thinking about, okay, well, I'm going to do a flip uh, or I'm going to get hit and I'm going to flip over. I'm going to, you know, Now you're saying you really don't scary. feel that impact though in these. I mean, you really, you don't feel like you just got hit. You're just mm -hmm. kind of like, no. yeah, Yeah. The first time you get hit in this, all that fear just goes away because huh. you realize I just, I just flipped three times and I'm fine and 
okay, and I'm going to go get him back, and you're going to knock that guy for a loop. <laughs> now, Molly, how was it when you flipped? It was actually, well, Molly it, did was that a, it felt like, I know what a turtle must feel like, <laughs> you know, when they're on their back. And, but, yeah, it, it's definitely awkward, but I can see that the more you do it, the more custom you get to it, and it'd be a little easier to get around. There are handles inside. I don't think you can really see them but that's well but you can and there's straps like a backpack so mm -hmm. you put it on it stays with you it moves with you and i guess i can see the appeal that when you're running around when you get used to it it, it you'd be getting some great exercise having fun and not even realizing it because mm -hmm. you're adding a little bit uh -huh. of weight adding a little bit more balance that you have to use i think right. just to stay on your feet so have you gotten on a trampoline on one of these things no <laughs> we have not gotten on a trampoline yet <laughs> water slides slip and slide yeah, slip and slide yeah, you we went, went on down. the Slide the City on it. That's outstanding, because I, I can't imagine, you, your imagination must go wild with these things. But let me ask you, I'm in a junior ball. Are you looking for people, what age range are you looking for players? Um, uh, just for regular anybody to be able to play is eight years and up. But for our league, we're looking for mainly adults, um, uh, 17, 18 years old. That's, a, that's okay, too, if they're you know bigger people. But we, our league is going to be an adult league, and it starts on June 15th. And we're going to be holding over at UWF. Excellent. So have you gotten a big response? Are people interested? Uh, this is actually the first time we're really announcing it. So they have. Okay, oh, well, thank you so much yes. for giving us the opportunity. Yeah. I feel like Carly and I need to do some kind of a demonstration, but there's oh no real gosh. ball. But if I just want to, I have to give her a bump. But yeah, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't think we should do that because one of us is going to roll into hey. the camera and it's going to be me. <laughs> I have the worst luck with that. But you do. Now, this is 30 pounds. This is 20. So you are, just yeah. like you said, Molly, you're getting a workout. Um, but it doesn't feel like you, uh, that's a lot of weight when you say it, but it doesn't feel like that when yeah, you Yeah, once it you on. put it on your shoulders, you know, the straps kind of keep the weight distributed, so it doesn't really feel like you have much on it. On now, your... and you also saw a woman in the video who had a knee brace on. Now, can anyone, let's say they have a knee or an ankle, uh, may have problems with it, maybe they're not good runners, they can still play this mm -hmm. sport because you're not doing a, an intense amount of running up and down the field, yeah. so kind of flipping over. Yeah, um, if they do have some kind of pre-existing injury, though, we do, you know, everybody has to sign a waiver because it is a, a sport where you could get hurt. Um, but if they have a pre-existing injury, then we would prefer them to, you know, take it easy. Obviously, we'll let them mess around, but we won't let them play a full-on game where it's a lot of action. Where did this originate from? Uh, it originated in Norway uh, quite a few years ago. Okay. And it's only been in the U.S. for about a year and a half now. Oh, and it's spread. And so when you get the leagues together, are there other leagues that you can play from different areas? Are there any close by? Oh, yeah. We have league affiliates, over 40 of them across the U.S. And wow. um, we, our plan eventually is to have a bubble bowl in Las Vegas. A bubble a bowl bubble in bowl. Vegas. That sounds outstanding. That sounds I want an Elvis ball, if that's the case. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, EJ, Aaron, thank you guys so much. And again, if people are watching and they want to get involved with, with bubble soccer, the league starts June 15th. June 15th, um, they can check us out at uh, www.bubblebumpersports.com or on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash bubblebumpersports. Wonderful. Thank you guys so much. This is Thank so you. much fun. It is. So we'll have, to, we'll have to get out there and play. And we'll be back after now, break. Can I push her over? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Okay, we'll be yeah. back after break with uh, Reggie Duggan from <laughs> <laughs>